What's up guys, Jay here from Easy Blade. We're back with another haircut tutorial. As you can see, that one's gonna be a fresh one. So you can see he started off like this and then we went to that clean, low fade. So the first thing we're gonna do here is basically, we're gonna trim the hair. If you guys don't know, I love to trim the hair first, uh, get the hair in position and then fade it. I feel like a lot of times when you, you know, start your fade and you trim the hair after, I don't like the way the hair comes out. So I like to get my hair in position and then start my fade, make sure I know where they want it at, and then I can start my fade. So here, we're just doing a simple comb back scissor cut using the finger length. So I'm using two fingers pulling up, and that's pretty much what we got. Now I asked him in the beginning how much he wanted off, he showed me, and make sure you do that as well. Make sure you know exactly what they want. Ask them if they're sure, you know, get that hair where you want it to be. You don't wanna have to cut it afterwards. So right here, just blow drying the hair in position. That's how he wants it. He wants it combed to the side, uh, you know, kind of like a part. So the first step here is we're gonna go ahead and clear the bulk. We're gonna use a number three guard and we're gonna clear that bulk so we can get ready for our fade. Because if you start your fade with too much bulk, it's just not gonna work out for you. So you can see I'm going towards the crown of the head and I'm flicking my wrist out and stopping right there. Now you can see that haircut looks clean already. Imagine if he was just getting number three guard on the side, we could have shaped this thing up and got him out of the chair to be honest with you, because the top was already done and the bulk is clear. Step number two, we're gonna start our skin line. We're starting a little bit lower than the temple area of the head. We're keeping it lower than the temple and we're gonna kind of sort of drop in the back as well. Same thing on this side as well, bend the ear, get that hair behind the ear, guys, get it now. Okay, step number three, we're gonna do a guideline with the machine open, guys. You can use any machine, don't worry. Open that machine and we're gonna start our half guideline. Now that our guideline is there, we're gonna grab our number two guard, start flicking our wrist, keeping the fade low, and just kind of blending into that number three guard, that previous guard. Step number five, we're gonna grab our one and a half. We're fading from the biggest guard to the smallest guard. We're gonna work our way down and really, really start our blend. You can see we're getting a lot closer uh, to where we need to be. So it's gonna be the safest way possible, guys, is to work your way from the biggest guard to the smallest guard. Flicking that rest, and you're gonna make sure that you're opening that lever as you get higher into that fade. Make sure you're opening that lever. Lever is key for a fade haircut now. This guy, when he came in, he was extremely nervous, which was crazy. Um, he kept looking at the mirror, which was crazy, and I understand. Step number six, we're gonna drop down to that one guard, okay? We're gonna do the same steps we've been doing, flicking our wrist and fading into that previous guard. So this guy was extremely nervous, and he kept looking at the mirror, um, kept looking at it and looking at it and looking at it. I had to cut it out of the video. Um, he was just nervous, you know? Um, a lot of people get scarred by barbers, so that's just one of those things, you know, I was telling them, you have to trust me, trust me, I got you, I'm gonna make sure that you look clean. You know, a lot of people mess up people's hair and they just get nervous and they like, kind of not take it out on you, but you get that type of energy. So just make sure that you explain to the customer, you know, you gotta let me work, you gotta let me, you know, perfect the hair and get it to where it needs to be, you know, so that you could be happy, you know, um, you gotta trust me. So it's like a trust thing when you walk into a barbershop and you let somebody cut your hair. Step number seven, we're gonna drop down to that half and we're gonna go ahead and fade out that guideline. And this is what we're doing here. Basically flicking our wrist and fading out that previous guideline. So that guideline that we started, 
Now you can see that fade is really starting to take place here. Our last step after this is pretty much to remove that skin line and then we're gonna have ourselves a clean fade. Now you can see the reason why I like doing the top first, look at the top of the head. It's already styled, it's already to go. I didn't put any pomade in there or any clay yet. I'm going to put that in the hair, but you can see the hair is in position. Now, if I would have started this fade and then started to cut the hair on top afterwards, I feel like it would have been disproportionate. That's just my opinion. Now there is barbers that do it the other way around. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but it, to me, it's just more work afterwards. So our last step is gonna be no guard, step number eight. And we're going to go smaller strokes and we're just going to stick out that skin line, flicking our wrists and really, really starting to blend out that skin line. Now you can see again, the hair is in position. I don't have to do my whole fade and then worry about the top afterwards again. Really, really key to timing. Um, you know, my average haircut is about 30, 35 minutes, you know, depending on what it is. Now, if somebody gets a number four on the side, it might be 20, 25 minutes, to, you know, the most, um, you know, taking my time with the customer and just having that experience and understanding what it is that I need to do next um, is really, really gonna help me out. You know, you gotta have a map, all right? So what we're gonna do here, he's gonna leave the front natural. We're just gonna line up the sides over here. I love to do that just to make the fade pop. So what I'm gonna do is grab a, a clip just to hold up the hair so I can get that corner right there. Now I'm gonna go ahead and apply a straight razor just to make it look sharp. Look at his face once he sees the haircut. He's extremely happy, he's talking to me now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Easy Blade clay in his hair just to style it and get it where it needs to be. You can see I'm kind of combing it back with my fingers and just putting it in position. Now you can see the difference in his mood. He's extremely happy, he's smiling. He's no longer looking in the mirror and feeling any type of way. And this is why I like to keep my customers out of the mirror when I'm actually lining them up. Next thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab some Easy Blade Shave Gel. You can grab that on EasyBladeShavingProducts.com. We're also gonna grab an Easy Blade Straight Razor, Easy Blade Double Edge Razor, and shape up the ends of the hair right here, as, like, we, like we did with the machine. And this is what we have, guys. If you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I will talk to you guys soon. Again, Jay here from EasyBladeShavingProducts.com.